أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إن الذين سبقت لهم من الحسنى أولئك عنها مبعدون لا يسمعون حسيسها وهم في مشتهت أنفسهم وهم في مشتهت أنفسهم خالدون لا يحزنهم الفزع الأكبر وتتلقى قاهم الملائكة هذا يومكم الذي كنتم توعدون يوم نطوي السماء كطي السجل للكتب كما بدأنا أول خلق نعيده وعدا علينا إنا كنا فاعلين ولقد كتبنا في الزبور من بعد الذكر أن الأرض يرثها عبادي الصالحون إن في هذا لبلاغا لقوم عابدين وما أرسلناك إلا رحمة للعالمين صدق الله العظيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم distinguished guests brothers and sisters assalamu alaikum on behalf of the Maldives National Youth Council i welcome brother ahmad didat and brother abdullah didat and all of you brothers and sisters to this meeting this evening. We are very privileged today to have Brother Ahmad Didat with us here in Mali. Alhamdulillah. He, Brother Didat, is the president of Islamic Propagation Center in Durban, South Africa. Today, he will be speaking to us on the topic missionary inroads. Brother Didat has kindly consented to talk for 45 minutes, after which will be question time until 5.45. Brothers and sisters, 
you're welcome to write down your questions and forward it to the bench and we will ask the question of from brother Dida depending on the time we have so without wasting much time may I present to you brother Dida Mr. Chairman, and my dear brothers and sisters, and my little children, it gives me great pleasure. I'm very, very happy indeed to be here on your island and to meet my brother in here, which I didn't imagine existed, the Maldive Islands, you know, very small group of islands, sometimes on the map of the world, we don't even see them. But I find that it is a reality. Muslims and good Muslims at that, I am very, very happy to be associated with you all. And while I'm here, actually I came here to this conference, I wanted to have a closer contact with the people. And I'm very, very grateful to my brethren for giving me this opportunity of coming to you and speaking to you. More especially this afternoon on the subject of missionary inroads. Now, this conflict between Islam and the previous two Semitic religions, the Jews and the Christians, has been with Islam from its earliest beginnings. As soon as our Nabi Kareem Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam made the Hijrah, the migration from Makkah to Medina, he was forced to by circumstances. The Mushriks of Makkah had made life untenable for him and he had to make the Hijrah. In Medina, he was surrounded by Jews and Christians. See, in Makkah, it was all mushriks, 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 idol worshippers, pagans. But in Medina and around Medina, there was a more sophisticated community, people who had previous religious scriptures, the Jews and the Christians. And when the people of Medina began accepting Islam, accepting our Nabi Kareem Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam as the messenger of Allah, they began taunting the Muslims. He says, you are following this Ummi, a person who is unlettered, who doesn't know how to read or write. You know, he's going to mislead you. He's going to misguide you. If you want to go to heaven, if you want salvation, Rahe Najat, Jannah. So, either you become a Jew, said the Jews, or you become a Christian, said the Christians. And Allah records that for us in His eternal book, the Holy Quran. I read a very brief verse from the Holy Quran, from Surah Baqarah, Surah Baqarah, Verse number 111, 111, where Allah says, That the Jews and the Christians will never, never be satisfied with you, O Muslims. Allah is telling us. This is what He says that the Jews and the Christians will never, never learn. I have come across many brethren here who know Arabic. See, on a percentage basis, more Muslims here, they know Arabic than my people in South Africa. Very few, a handful of us know Arabic. We read the Quran, all of us, they read the Quran, but very few can speak Arabic. You seem to have been in touch with Al-Azhar, and you have graduates from Al-Azhar coming along and living in your midst, your own people. We are not that fortunate in South Africa. 
We have a very sophisticated community, but very few know Arabic as a language. You are very fortunate. Those of you who know Arabic, you will be able to verify that lan, lan means never, never, most certainly not. وَلَن تَرْضَى أَنْكَ الْيَهُودُ وَلَن نَصَارَى حَتَّى تَتَّبِعَ مِلَّتَهُمْ That the Jews and the Christians will never, never be satisfied with you unless you follow the brand of religion. And this is an eternal truth with us. Wherever we are, we find the same situation. No man, how much backward we bend trying to appease the people. They will not be satisfied with you unless they swallow you, unless they make you a Christian. The Portuguese, I understand, were here on your islands. Very nice people, gentle people, obedient people, easily enslaved. Nice, kind people, kind hearted, very sweet. Your people. So they came here. And they made a home. And they find that the people are amenable. You can do what you like with them. So I'm given to understand that they had a brainwave. The Pope, His Holiness of the time, the Pope in Rome, he made a pronouncement, sent a decree, convert these people, baptize them all. Dip them in, in the water and take them out as Christians. The Muslims, put him in as Muslim and take him out as Christian. Baptize them all. And one of your heroes, he realized what was happening, that the whole nation was going to go to the dogs. Whole